What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to be making a plan as a free-to-play player to get the Armand's fusion i mean he's gonna be an absolute beast i mean he's gonna completely change the meta for arena you're gonna want to build him high speed lots of accuracy like champions like wukong they will just be nothing he will completely shut him down and we all know like wukong is such a menace right now but yeah, this guy's going to carry hard in arena. So I think for 90% of players, he's a must go for. Obviously, if you don't care about arena and you're all about the PvE, he's going to be a hard skip. But yeah, he's going to be an absolute beast. And for me, he's 100% a yes. So let's, uh, we're going to be using 3D paint to help us plan this out. So yeah, so here, here's what's going on. So we're going to need four epics. And they're all the same epic, thank God. Uh, if you get lucky, you might pull him in one of the summon rushes or in a champion chase as well. So if that happens, that means you can skip a whole bunch. Uh, but it looks like we are going to have to do everything. So if we have a look here, um, 25, and it goes up to 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's one epic. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's one epic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So yeah, you can have to do all of it. You could go for Heroes Paths, but generally... These are really, really hard. And it's going to be from summoning souls, which I don't want to do. I want to save my soul summons for two times events. And they're definitely not going to be doing that. And the other thing is it's shards as well. So it just depends. Let's just have a quick look. So we've got summon rush happening this weekend. And then next weekend, there's champion chase. So it's like either you summon here and here or you're going to have to skip and do it during this week. And yeah, generally they're really, really hard. Personally, I just feel like I'd rather go for the safe route and just summon straight up front. I just hate that there's no transparency from Plarium. So, you know, this hero's path as well could be really cool. Loads of things going on. But we don't know what's happening. So for me, it's just a hard skip. I reckon there will be souls in here for uh armands however um they're gonna be like really really low at the bottom you probably are gonna have to be a big spender to get those souls so i'm just not gonna risk it i'm gonna skip it and just stick stick with the basics and make sure i get this champion you know we don't want to miss out so the it's already gone live and what i would suggest is thursday and friday we're gonna do a dragon tournament so i'm just gonna Put this little box across here and let's what's a nice color green blue can't really see blue should we just go classic red okay red so we're gonna start farming dragon thursday and friday and hopefully we should finish it on friday then saturday dungeon divers is gonna start so that is when we are gonna want to double up and start using champion training and champion training and dungeon divers just go hand in hand it just makes it so much easier like if you farm campaign hard you will just blitz through this easily and we've got three days to do it as well so that's plenty of time um so yeah we should just you know blast through dungeon divers no problems so then we've got uh, classic arena the arena ones are always a given easy peasy we are gonna have to summon uh summon so 100% we'll be doing that. And we can do that Friday or Saturday. I'd say probably do it. Um, as the sooner you do it, though, it's going to help you for champion train as well, because then you'll pull, you know, like rares and maybe some epics, maybe a legendary. So that makes champion training a whole lot easier. Uh, artifact enhancements, they're pretty much just a given as well, as long as you've got the, the silver. And then we've got Ice Golem coming as well. So we can use Ice Golem just if we've got any points outstanding, just, you know, double up with Ice Golem for Dungeon Divers and we should be good. That's pretty much week one down and we're pretty much sorted there. Then we've got um, another Artifact event and we've only got, oh, so we've got three, three Artifact events. I mean, if you're end game, these are so easy to do. 
I guess if you're struggling early game, then, you know, you're probably, I, I don't know, I reckon I use about maybe 10 million silver. So we need at least 30 mil silver. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it's more like six. So probably 18 to 30 mil silver minimum. And if you need some silver, you know, just forge up, make, make sure you use the forge. Then we've got another dungeon divers and that is really annoying how they've sort of planned this. So we've sort of just got it randomly here. So I guess here's just sort of a free day. So free day here, you know, farm whatever dungeon you want to do. Maybe farm some spider, get some silver. And then what we're going to do is we will pair up dungeon divers with champion training again, go really hard at it, try and clear that in the first two days. And then we can finish off with finite here. So it should be all good right there. And then Friday, we are going to go hard again on the champion chase. And what we can do as well is that, let's just see, we should have maybe at least two of these epics. So don't fuse them straight away, save them and pull them at champion chase. If you've got any other champions in the bank as well, you could always uh, you know, summon them as well, just for those extra points. So that should all be pretty easy. And then, yep, champion chase. And it's really annoying. these three dungeon divers, three. So what I'd probably do is go hard sort of here, hit halfway through champion training. So say it's probably about, um, obviously we want to get that legendary book. So it's probably going to be, around 12,000 points. So if, say we sit, say it's 12,000 points, we will get 6,000 points on day one and day two. Then we will just go back to Fire Knight, uh, finish off that Dungeon Divers. And then when this Dungeon Divers starts, we will go back hard. Ooh. No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we want to pair these two up and they're going to go hard again on Dungeon Divers with the champion training right here. And that should get you know that should get us enough points to try and get those uh, fragments. Again, um, classic arena takedown two easy peasy, and then you know we've got spider paired up with dungeon divers and spider. You know most most players should be able to farm spider in under forty seconds if you're doing normal. If you're doing hard, you know probably forty to twenty seconds, maybe even fifteen. My team's like uh, six turns. So you should be able to farm spider pretty comfortably. And if you need to, you can just burn some gems and just rip straight through that um, through spider. And yeah, spider, you know, obviously it's so easy to farm and that will get us loads of silver as well and loads and loads of dungeon divers of points. And if we need a little bit more, because uh, we probably, I always find that when you do like a dungeon, um, the points don't match up the same. So say I've got a thousand points in spider, it'd probably be only 500 points for dungeon divers. Uh, there's definitely it does not colorate colorate uh it it doesn't match up you know it, it they, they're not the same so yeah so that should be hopefully everything i think the hero's path is a big fat no from me it is it's a trap for me it's just gonna be like a red flag definitely a massive trap and we are going nowhere near this because it is not, it is just, yeah, it's just bait. Like, I don't know if, if you go for this, you just don't know what's, you just don't know what it's going to take. And it's really frustrating. Like, I just wish the player would be more open about this. Just so players have more options and you can sort of plan how you want to do this and go, oh, actually, I'm going to skip that sun rush and I'm going to do this. I hate that they do this. So yeah, I'm just going to have to go for it, boys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What are your plans? Um, are you going to mix it up? Are you going to risk it for a biscuit? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.